Todd Haverdo, head coach here at Brexville. Coach Haverdo, you guys are runner up here at your own holiday tournament, the oldest holiday tournament in the country. Uh, talk about the tournament, coach. Uh, it, it was awesome. It was a great field. There was 44 teams. Um, you know, every year we try to add, you know, the best teams that we can. The goal is to get, you know, the best teams out of Ohio, you know, and try to showcase Ohio wrestling. And, uh, you know, recently we've been trying to bring in some out of state teams. Uh, we're not trying to be the Iron Man, but we'd like to bring in, you know, five or six good out of state teams um, and see how they match up against the best teams in Ohio. Okay, you guys were 10th at the Iron Man, 11th at the Beast. How do you feel that you're building a, uh, a you know, an emerging Division One power here in Ohio? I, you know, I guess it's just hard work. Uh, our kids wrestle a ton in the off season, and I think that's been the difference in our program. Um, they bought in, you know, uh, years ago. Uh, we had some kids that bought into the program, um, and and luckily had success. So the younger kids saw what they were doing and saw that they were winning, and and then uh, everything kind of took off from there. Um, but I guess it just you know boils down to hard work and a little bit of luck. <laughs> okay, you guys go out to Fargo every year, and any one year, what's the most amount of wrestlers you've taken out to Fargo? Well, I think I think we took eleven one year, uh, a couple years back. And you guys have all Americans. Uh, Johnson's an all American. Yeah, we had three all Americans this year. We had two two junior freestyle and one cadet freestyle uh, this past year in Fargo. Okay, Kyle Lang. He's still chasing that title. Yeah. What do you th What do you think? He's got beaten twice by Toll this year, mm -hmm. and Dallas Bailey. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Uh, do you think that's only going to make him better for that state tournament this year? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Kyle's phenomenal. Um, his natural ability is incredible. Um, he's got this um, <laughs> crazy ability to fall into the toughest weight class and every tournament we wrestle in. You know, he's, if you look at his state tournament finishes, the weight classes that he wrestled in were were incredible. You know, out at the Beast of the East, um, it was the same thing. 160 was insane. There was, f I think, five nationally ranked kids out there. Uh, he beat Fleming in the quarters, um, who was a stud. He beat Kenny Quartz in the semis, who obviously is a stud. And then, uh, you know, he lost a, a great match to Dallas Bailey in the finals. Um, I, I, wrestling in those tight matches, I, I think, is really going to help him. I mean, I think the younger Kyle, two, three years ago, struggled in those tight matches with the really good kids. And uh, we've worked a lot on his just match management and trying to trying to uh, handle the one- and two-point matches against the best kids in the state or the best kids in the country. And I think he's doing a much better job of it. I mean, he lost uh, to, to Toll in the finals here um, and one of the best high school matches I've seen, you know, in a 98 match. And, uh, you know, you got two superstars going at it. Somebody's going to win, you know. Okay, Johnson. Johnson's champ at Ironman. He's third at Beast. Beats the number one guy in the country. He's champ here. Yeah. With Walls getting beat yesterday in the finals of the Medina by Division Three, the Tussle heavyweight, do you think that that gives Johnson more confidence that he can win that Division One title? Uh, you know, Jeremy's a, he's an awesome kid. I don't think he's worried about anybody but himself. You know, he's that type of kid that I think every he gets one percent better every day. You know, and and that's the name of the game. Obviously, Adam Walls is a stud. It's still December thirtieth. You know, so he got beat, big deal. You know, it's about who's ready to wrestle at the, at the state tournament and, uh, you know, who can put it together at the end of the year. Does it give him confidence? I, I don't know. I mean, Jeremy's the type of kid, I don't even know if he'll know that Walls got beat, you know, in the finals of the Medina tournament. Um, I think he's just really focused on trying to work on those little areas of efficiency in, in his game and um, hopefully put it all together at the end of the year. Okay, you've clearly built the, you have the blueprint for success here at Brexville. Would you say, I mean, you take 11 guys out to Fargo, you have three All-Americans in freestyle this past year. Would you say that you're, t where are you taking all this stuff from, from Lake Catholic, where you're from, where you guys were team champs, where you were a champ? Where are you getting this blueprint for success? I, I wish I had a blueprint. I mean, there's no, there's no blueprint, I don't think, to the sport. Um, I, I guess it was, you know, I wrestled in a, in a great high school program at Lake Catholic. Our high school coach, Tim Armelli was phenomenal um, and it was just all about hard work and um, I think these kids nowadays have uh, a lot more opportunities um, for off-season training um, than, than we did when I was in high school um, so we're just turning over stones and trying to find every opportunity we can to, to help catch you know those, those best programs that are out there um, you know believe it or not you know most of our kids here they didn't it, it, we're, our, develop, our youth programs developing but even right now, a lot of our kids on our high school team started wrestling in seventh grade. You know, we have a we have a really good, we have a phenomenal middle school coaching staff, um, and they're 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 feeding us kids that that know the basics of wrestling, and um, 
they come up here excited to wrestle and um, try to work hard and keep them wrestling in the off season and hopefully good things happen. Okay, goals for the year. Obviously, you've, uh, you're trying to make the Ohio State tournament. Okay, you're a fourth toughest tournament with Beast of the East, Iron Man, and Brexville. What's the ultimate goal with a wide open, well, apparently a wide open Division One team race this year? Uh, the ultimate goal is to peak at the right time. You know, um, a lot of people question our schedule. You know, we wrestle Ironman, Beast, Brexville. That's brutal. You know, that, that's a three tournament stretch that I, I'm not sure it could be much harder than that. Um, at the end of the, at the end of the day, the whole thing's about wrestling your best matches at the end of the year. You know, we, we we've been fortunate enough the last couple of years to have some kids come out of nowhere at the state tournament, um, and, and people are shaking their heads saying, "Where where did that kid come from?" Um, so again, the the goal is to continue to get one percent better every day, um, to keep these kids. Um, you know, we we try to uh, not just worry about technique and, and and live minutes and conditioning and strength. We really try to work a lot of the mental part of it. Um, and you know we try to put it all together and make sure that the kids peak at the right time. And if they do, again, good things will happen. I, I don't I don't know. I mean, we were we were top ten the last two years. We were fifth last year. This team we have now is really good, um, I think. But we have a lot of bubble kids. If those bubble kids step up at the end of the year, I, I, I don't know what'll happen. Okay, coach. Uh, definitely interesting to hear your insight on uh, building a successful program. But uh, this year, Division One. We're going to be talking to you at the Schottenstein Center. Don't run from me because you've been running for a little over a year from me now for this interview. But uh, good luck this year. And uh, you guys got a tough league too. Yeah. Yeah, we do. We wrestle in a really good league. Um, you know, Olmstead Falls, they have a phenomenal coach. They, 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 have a, they put a good team on the mat every year. Amherst is doing a great job with their program. Westlake's got some studs in their program. It's, it's fun, you know. Are you got anything else for me? No. All right, Todd Haverdale, head coach here at Brexville, uh, runner-up this year and top 10 at the Ironman, 11th in the Beast. Thanks, coach.